Awesome. So all I'm going to really do, and, and I'm going to really help you out here, man, is really just kind of comb through everything based on the new Apple iOS update, like what needs to be integrated, what needs to be connected. So, um, and then of course, answer any questions you have, but yeah, go back down real quick, go down to, to brand safety and just click on domains. You have your domain integrated, right? So yes, that's where domains. it starts. Yeah. Domain. Okay. Perfect. So you're good there. And then now what you'll want to do though, is you'll want to click on connected assets right there in the middle connected assets. Yeah. So, um, right there, there's the page, see if there's anything else to connect. Actually, I think it's just the page, but see if there's anything else. Yeah. That's the page. Yeah, so that's you're page, fine. Yeah. So, um, and then click on, click on scroll up and go to go to yeah, so just knowing what pixel you're using, I would rename that pixel and then um, and then go up to add accounts and click on add accounts. And then over here, okay, so Barry, see if you need to add any more assets. So click on connected assets, go to add assets. And I think you need to add your pixel. Actually, no, you're fine. Okay, you're, you're fine. Okay, perfect. So then um, now just go back, click the three lines at the top, go back to the events. Uh, manager. Right. Yeah. So events manager, this is what you'll want to do first. Actually, you know what, let's get those before we go there. Let's go to, well, actually we're here. So hover over the blue triangle and go to your custom conversions, or actually you might have that tab already open, right? Oh yes. I do. Okay. Yeah, right. So here's what you want to do. Go ahead and um, go ahead and go ahead and grab those links. So the custom conversions, the link just grab it, copy it if you need to grab it from somewhere else or you can grab it from right here. Mm -hmm. And let's just, um, first of all, when you set up, when you set up custom audiences here, here, I don't think this, I don't think this, well, yeah, I don't think this is a huge, huge um, thing, but, but the way I've always been taught and the way I've, I've always set up my custom conversions and my custom audiences, go back to into it real quick, the manage, just click on it, click on any of them, uh, either one of them. Yeah, so sure. right here, what I've been taught and again, I don't know if this is a huge. This is this is this is not the reason why it's not in why it's not active. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it go active in two seconds, okay. but just for just to get in the good habit, taking out the HTTPS that doesn't need to be there. So whenever you create custom audiences and custom conversions, the correct way to do it is just to put the URL. So think wealthy, be wealthy. Like just no HTTPS, no www, just the URL. I see. Okay, that's just good habit. So, okay. so okay. custom audiences, custom conversions, you only need think wealthy, everything after that. Okay. Okay. So, um, but again, I don't think that that has, I don't think that's a huge, huge deal breaker. So now let's just, yeah, let's copy that entire link. Let's open it up in a new tab. Mm -hmm. And here's what you always want to do when you, um, when you set up a custom conversion, this is 1000% of the time. When you set up a custom conversion, you always want to open up a new tab and, 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 and let Facebook read that pixel. Let Facebook read that pixel. Let Facebook read that custom conversion. Do you have the Facebook pixel helper Chrome installer or uh, Chrome plugin? I believe I do, you don't. but I don't think I do right now. No. Okay. So yeah, open up a new tab and just, um, I would, I, I would it? install it. I mean, I, I'd install it, especially if you're working on Facebook ads and landing pages. For sure. Yeah. Open up a new tab and let's just go to Google and just, yeah. Facebook pixel helper. Yeah. Facebook pixel helper. This thing is, is really cool because it, it, it lets you know, you know, um, that your pixels installed correctly. It lets you know, whoever, you know, is tracking you, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't, I don't use it for that. I don't care who's tracking me. Actually. Yeah. You have it somewhere there. Um, so maybe I just need to turn it on here. Actually, you just passed it. It's right up. It's above to the right. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. Perfect. So let's just, if I were you, I would just pin it up there, pin it to the top. That way you can see it at the top, top right. Yes, yeah, so just, um, you should see the little pin, but awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. So then this, you know, just lets you know that the pixel's on and it lets you know that um, the custom conversion was, in, was set up correctly. So go ahead and refresh, go to the thank you page and just refresh it. Okay. So let's refresh, refresh the thank you page. Okay, cool. So number one, the pixel is not on this page. Okay. So that's why that pixel helper is so freaking important because it clearly, it clearly shows that the pixel is not on this page. And so 
that's that that has to happen first in order for that custom conversion to go active mm. so when oh, you hit that, that drop sense. down <laughs> that um that pixel helper right now it's shaded gray right so when it's, when yeah. it's shaded gray there's no pixel on the page and again you'll see it on your page you'll see it on any web page from this point right. on that thing when a pixel is on it it lights up so right. you'll be able to click on it like since you're logged into your facebook on your computer you'll click on that from your desktop here and it'll say your pixel's name right so that's how you know it's your pixel because it freaking says your name it says or the business the, whatever you name the pixel it's the name of the pixel i see and, and uh, you'll see your custom conversion watch let me share my screen kind of my screen real quick sure so you could see my pixel right here at the top my pixel helper right so as i go to a page that i have i'm trying to set see up, your screen sorry oh go ahead yeah if you stop share you can come back to mine sure there you go Okay, so then I have my pixel on a bunch of these pages, but this is my custom conversion, one of my custom conversion pages. So if you, if when you come to this page right here, this right here lights up, right? Blue, yeah. three, four, but then look, as I click on it, look, you'll see that my, not only is my pixel, this is the name of my pixel, not only is the pixel on it correctly, right? but it also shows the name of my custom conversion. Mm, wow. So okay. that's yeah. why the pixel helper is so important. So it just lets me know that my right. pixel is installed correctly. It lets me know that my custom conversion was installed correctly. Now, once I, once I set up the custom conversion like you just did, right? Once you set that up, go ahead and share your screen. Once you set up the custom conversion, just like you did, and then it shows inactive, as I mentioned, you then go to the thank you page, refresh it, that's when you can check the pixel helper icon plugin and it'll say everything there. And then you come back. So this is very important. Then you come back to the custom conversion, the events manager, watch, go back to it, the um, tab. Yeah. Um, now, once you open up the thank you page in a separate tab, let Facebook read it for the first time, they're reading the pixel, they're reading the custom conversion. Then you would come over here and refresh this and that would go active. Yeah. Now, Again, in this case, it's not going to go active because the pixel's not on it. But um, go ahead and refresh it. Refresh it anyways for the hell of it, because you 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 uh, uh, this page, right? Yeah, this yeah. page. Yes, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to go active because yeah, it, it's missing the pixel. Yeah, I mean, I can. Yeah, it's I can missing always... the pixel. So oh, once you install that pixel, then you can refresh this page and it'll go active, and then and then that's the conversion, you know, that you're using. Now. That's step one is, is setting up your custom conversion. Once these two are active, and again, all you got to do is open up the, the link in, an, in a separate tab. That's it. Yes. And then it goes active. Then refresh this page um, and, and they're active. After you do that, then you go to the lines at the top left. So go to the lines and then go back to the events manager. And then this is all you got to events, events manager. Then this is all you got to do. You got to come over here and then you have to make sure the first thing you want to do, there's two things that we're going to do over here. The first thing is, is yeah, knowing which pixel you're running off of. See, so now look, this is the time to, to rename that other pixel. Right. So which, how do I go about doing that? Which, which pixel are you using? Do you know? This is the main one here. Okay. Let's, let's name important. that. Let's name that main one or name it something. Hit the pencil to the right, the little edit right next to the title of it. My dream fulfilled pixel to the right. Yeah. That the Where? title is also to the right, like below the blue button. Oh, below the blue button. Yeah. yeah right there. there. Okay. So you can, yeah. you can name it my you know main, main my dream fulfilled pixel or whatever like just something to know the difference perfect so that's the one right there that's the one right there and that's the one that ends in seven seven one two so yes. that's how i always kind of remember it so here's the deal first things first is is hitting settings to the to the bottom right over there so right here setting no 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 to the to the right it was right oh, here on the page right. yeah go back to that page Okay. So you'll want to, Facebook wants you now to create what they call a, a, an allow list. And so we just got to make sure that the links, that the domains are, are the correct ones that we want Facebook to track. So we integrated the domain with GoDaddy and, or whoever, and, and now you have that, that active domain in the brand safety in the business settings. But over here, you still have to line it up. So click on settings, and that's your allow list. So click on settings right there at the top, settings. 
um, right. yeah, settings. Yeah. And then if you scroll down, we're looking for traffic permissions right here, traffic permissions. Okay, so these are the two um, domains that you're allowing Facebook to track. So is Aweber an important one or, or Aweber, not? Aweber is the platform that I'm using to uh, make the landing page. Okay, like perfect. So, so leave those and then there's the .com, my dream fulfilled. Perfect, .com, perfect. So you're good there. So that's important is always making sure that the links here are the, are the correct ones. Okay. Um, and then now click on overview right there in the middle to the left overview. Now this is the biggest, um, the biggest update. So click on yet yeah, overview to the left. Yeah. So right here, click on, you're going to click on aggregated event measurement okay. right next to that new in purple right there. Yeah. And then configure web events. Yep. And then right here. So you have this domain verified, you have this right here, manage events. Okay. So over here, what you're going to want to do is you're want, yeah, edit. I think you're going off the, yeah, see that custom conversion. So it's not conversion leads. The custom okay. conversion is the one you set up that were inactive, those two. Okay. So, so it's, so I don't know what, I don't know which ones those are, but, but actually those are, those are the, the general ones there, the standard ones, but once you activate those cu custom conversions, then you'll see those two right there. Oh, it'll pop up. Yeah, it'll pop up. So you have to activate them first. You have to add the pixel to that page. That's that's all you gotta do. So the pixel okay. needs to be on on that page. Um, so what am I what am I doing wrong here? Like, how should I actually set one of these up? Like when I go to add event. Yeah. So you um, can just go ahead and X out of all of them. X out of all of them. Sure. Because those are not the ones. So you're gonna add event. Actually, you, what, what you'll want to do maybe is just bookmark this page, like bookmark this, because this is where you're going to come back to. Once you add the pixel to that page, the thank you page for sure, um, then you're going to, then you're going to come over here and, or you're going to go to the other tab and you're going to, you're going to refresh those, those, um, those custom conversions, the ones that are inactive, the two that are inactive, right? So you refresh those, those should go active as long as that's the right link for the thank you page. Cause I know, watch, go back to the, leave this tab open, bookmark this if needed. Yeah, you already did. Okay, cool. Go to the other one. Yeah, open up that one. And then go to hover over your blue triangle and go to custom conversions, blue triangle to the left. Uh, yeah. So as long as this link over here, so click on main conversion leads, as long as that's the right link, like you have this long ass link. So I don't know if that's the right link, like, because when you go to a page, it's normally, it's normally that that company or i don't know if it's the company or if it's like aweber for example or if it's or if it's your ip your your internet provider where a lot of times when we go to sites numbers are added to the end of the link like that happens to me all the time when i'm on a certain website there's a bunch of characters at the end so i don't know if that's how you set up this just based on what that link read at that given moment when you copied it the very first time to set this up or if that's the actual link in your in your Aweber, like right. what you want to do is you want to go to Aweber. I don't think that's the link at all. Like to tell you the truth, it seems as though that's the link they uh, they gave me. Uh, but you make a good point. It's I I, I thought it was really just kind of uh, <laughs> just really long and yeah yeah that that's, drawn out and that can't weird. be that can't be the link. Um, and uh, go here languages. And uh, so right below here, right? It's the... Oh, I guess, I guess shit. I guess that is the link. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Well then shit, that's fine. So here's what you want to do. Why don't you, um, why don't we, why don't we go back to your custom conversions? Let's just, let's... yeah, right here. So then click on manage. Uh, yep. Right there, yeah, click on manage. So you named it thank you page lead conversions. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the-, the uh, Actually, that's the description. You don't, you actually don't need a description. You can have a description if that helps you in any way, but but okay. the description really isn't needed. It's just the title, main conversion okay. leads. Like that's the name. Okay. So um, you can leave the description if you want, that's fine. But 
okay so as long as that's the right link man then 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 you just need to add the pixel to the page so why don't you okay, get the that pixel would real be quick? that would be this pixel here no that uh, yeah the pixel id does it call for a pixel id or does it call for the whole code a weber because i'm not too believe, familiar with a weber i believe just a pixel id okay so then yeah this just paste in that um to the very very right yeah you have that one right there yeah perfect so go in here yeah um, so see if you can yeah. um like yeah i need to go back to here then settings and tracking and yeah perfect so there it is there okay cool so save that and then now um go ahead and go back to your thank you page tab and just refresh it so the tab that's already open thank you okay, just push that. yeah thank perfect you. so just refresh this page yeah. cool man there's your pixel so your pixels on it so click on the pixel helper to the right no go back to your thank you page go back to your thank you page uh, thank you page yeah okay so click on that pixel helper yeah okay so there's there's your pixel there's Very your nice. pixel so go ahead and um, go ahead and what I would do is I'd probably set up a new, a new custom conversion, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back to, um, yeah. Custom conversions. Should I delete both of these? Yeah. You could delete both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Delete okay. both of them. Manage and then yeah. Delete. Okay. So if you delete the custom, conversion, so use it. okay, that's fine. Does does allow you to delete it? This yeah. customer is currently being used in a domain's web configuration. Okay, so you got to just, okay, so um, we have to just simply delete it from the other from the other um, event uh, aggregated event measurement side. See if you could delete this one. Okay, sure. Might say the same. Yeah. Okay, cool. Same. So then. Okay, so let's just let's just add the other one. Let's and then we can name it something different. So create sure. custom conversion. Yeah. And just um yeah, go ahead and set this up. And name it name it something different. Yeah, main um custom. And what I do also, man, is I name it. I mean, I, this is just preference. This is total preference. This is just sure. me. I'm just thinking out loud and giving you my two cents. Yeah. I course. name my custom conversion. I name my custom audience, whatever okay. the hell that offer was. So people that landed on that thank you page, who were they? Were they download? Were they were they PDF leads? Were they what type of leads were they? You know, like. I see. And because I when you just look at main to... custom conversion. I don't know what the hell that is. If I'm looking at a dashboard, you know what I mean? Right. So you want to kind of be more specific when right. you title your custom audiences and when you title your custom conversions. So landing page. Well, what kind of landing page? Oh, uh, right. Uh, so PDF download. PDF download leads. Because that's what they are, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. PDF download leads. That way, when you look at it, you know exactly what conversion that is. Um, and then also when you're looking at your custom audiences, you'll know exactly what that is, you know, so click on, um, select your own category, uh, yeah. in blue, select your own, no, leave that one as is, and then just okay. select your own category, hit the recommended, and then go down to, to leads. Cause that's all they're doing, right? They're going to the landing page, they're entering their name and email and, and their lead, right? That's all there is. Mm -hmm. So now grab, yeah, grab everything except for the HTTPS. You don't need the HTTPS or any of that. Oh, so okay. if you need to recopy it, maybe I could just delete it in here. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah. So just, um, sure. yeah. Yeah. You just need that part. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's paste that in and then go ahead and, and click create. And so now, right when you create it, um, you'll need to go to web config. You'll need to go actually go to this reading this is always important so to use this custom conversion event for website ad, ad campaign set it up to share data okay so in business manager go to your settings to assign the custom conversion to your business ad account so let's do that first so which i already which i'm pretty sure was already set up but let's let's check it again sure. actually no yeah you got to set up the custom convert so click on no go to what did the it said custom conversion right mm -hmm. go go back to the the the, the hit the other tab to the left uh, yeah up 
up that first tab. I think it was that first oh, tab. Oh, the first tab there. Yeah. Yeah. See, so to assign custom conversion to your business account. So click on custom conversions. Go back to the other tab. I think it's the third tab. Yeah. Actually, right here. Go to custom conversions and then click on um, connected assets. Okay. Yeah, add asset for, and then just connect it here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're good there. So now number two, go back to the other tab. And then so go to web configuration. So in events manager, your domain. So your web configuration. So over here. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that that conversion needs to be active first, but let's go ahead and just check. Sure. Pretty sure we need to just activate it real quick, but hit manage events. Yep. And then go to edit and then so over here, um, get rid of, let's get rid of both of them yep. and just add event yep. and then hit that drop down, custom conversion. Pretty sure we have to activate it. It's not active, but let's see, hit the drop down. Oh, perfect. It's right there. Okay, cool. So that it's a PDF download. Okay. So, so that, yeah, that's so much easier with the name change. <laughs> right? Yeah. You got to know exactly what yeah. that is, man. Don't leave it conversion leads like what the hell is conversion leads like which conversion <laughs> leads you know yeah so click on submit the blue button okay yeah okay so click yes i understand these changes and then just apply and that's it man now what you need to do real quick though leave this as is and go back to um the events manager tab in the top left mm -hmm. and then um go ahead and click on done mm -hmm. and now go to your thank you page so again what we just did here Go back real quick. Go back to the other tab. Okay. So what? No, the the custom conversion. Uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. So, as I mentioned a couple minutes ago, when you come and set up a custom conversion, yes. you don't need the HTTPS or the WWW, right? So that, right. that's number one. And then in the number two, right when we set it up, we had a set of instructions. Number one, we had to go connect it in the business settings, and then number two, we had to go to the web configuration, the aggregated. Um, measurement and then we had to connect it right the custom conversion and, and the two drop downs now what we want to do real quick is go to the thank you page so go to your thank you page refresh that page yeah and then just hit that drop down real quick hit hit the drop yeah actually right here refresh this page go ahead and refresh this page yeah Yeah, I didn't see that other pixel. Go back to the thank you page real quick. Hopefully that's the right link. Like I'm pretty sure it is, but the pixel should have been, the pixel helper should be showing this page. Refresh it one more time. The pixel helper should be showing this as a custom conversion. It sh we should see custom conversion right there in the drop down, but it might just take a little while. Normally it happens right away, but sometimes it takes a little a few minutes right. because at least we were able to set it up in the in the aggregated event measurement that was the most important so it's just it may just not be reading here just yet but normally mm -hmm. it happens instantly mm -hmm. and then that goes active instantly because now it's now it's connected in the in the um aggregated event event measurement section right it might just so, be taking a minute yeah but that's what you want to do, man. That's that's integrating the domain. You did that correctly, and then and then connecting everything in the business settings, the pixel, the ad accounts, and then setting up this right here, setting up your custom conversion, um, and then just being super specific with your titling. Right. You know? So, um, if anything, leave that thank you page open and just try refreshing it a few more times later on today, okay. and 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 then check that pixel helper. So. But everything else, everything else looks good to go, man. Now, now as you go in, so now let's go to the ads manager real quick. Uh, sure. Let's go here. Now just click the green button and, and go in and try to create an ad. Just like, let's go conversions and let's just get to step two, just to see if that, con that if that custom conversion is in the drop down uh, just yet. So over here, yeah, just click, just choose conversions. Okay, cool. And then um, down here, you can just switch the CBO to off. Or it doesn't even matter. You can, yeah, it's already off. So hit next. And then over here on the second one, 
Um, let's just click on, so the pixel, okay, perfect. So now that pixel is main my dream. That's the main one, nice. right? So that was number one. Problem number one is that that wasn't the right. I actually, I don't know if that was the right pixel, but you always want to make sure that's the right one. And then conversion event, go ahead and click inside there. And then you got lead and then you got right there, bam, PDF download leads. Nice. And then um, just leave that one. Your custom conversion is an active. So that's what we tried doing. So the way to make it active is you install the pixel on it. You create the custom conversion. You go to the thank you page. You refresh the thank you page. And then you come back to the, the custom conversion in events manager and you refresh that. And that makes it active right away. I don't know why yours isn't active right away, but at least it's it's there. You installed right. it, it's, it's there. So... Um, I'm just, I'm just a little questioning on it on, on not questioning, but just a little concerned on, on that link. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the right link. That's what you're getting from Aweber, but um, that's a long ass link. I don't know why yeah. it's that like that. You, and there's no way you can customize it. Uh, not that I've seen so far, but that's a good okay. point. I could definitely look into that. And, yeah, and look into that. You'll have to you'll have to recreate the custom conversion and your custom audiences, but that's ideally what you want to do. Like, you you want to at least customize those links, right? Because I was considering just like converting it into a short link, and so it was you know because it's so even putting it on the Facebook ad, it's just so you know long and drawn mm. out. It just looks kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, that's um. That's a long link, um, but a shortener is is good. Like when you're when you're um, like if you're actually promoting it, like you're actually posting it, and you're saying, "Hey, click here." Like if you're just organically and having a, a Bitly link or something would be cool, but mm -hmm. um, but not for custom conversions, like or even okay. a custom audience. You you okay. ha you have to use that root link, the the actual link, you know, the right. actual domain, the URL, right. but um. But it's there. I, I I just don't know why it's not active just yet. It should have been active. It should have been active the moment you refreshed that thank you page, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so the only reason why um, I think it's not because I I just don't know if that's the right link. But I'm pretty sure. But it is. It has to be. So just give it a few more minutes, man. Give it a few minutes. minutes. Check it later on, and and that should go active. And if anything, one one thing you may want to test as well is is actually opt in. You know, go to the go to the landing page, opt in, um, and then that that would also make it active as well. That's a good suggestion. Well, yeah. that should that should make it active. But then again, refreshing the thank you page is really all you need to be doing, because you're going to opt in, and all you're doing is hitting the thank you page. So it's really just refreshing the thank you page. But again, that's not working right now. Normally, it happens instantly. So if anything, you may want to check it again again like in a half an hour, and then just refresh the thank you page, refresh this page. And then, and then see if it's active. And if it's not, then opt in, opt in and just go from beginning to end and see if it reads it that way. Right. But be um, very well an Aweber thing. What's that? It could be an Aweber thing where it's taking a little bit longer. Y yeah. Or, I mean, or a link thing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, it could be, but the, the link is, is integrated. The domain is integrated with Facebook. And so yeah, you should be fine. You should be fine. Just again, save, bookmark this page, come back to it, just mm -hmm. make that active and, and, and you're good, man. So there's really, there's really nothing else to be doing now. Wh what you really, really 1000% have to kind of just strategize for is, is, is your custom audiences. You know, that's what it's ultimately about, man, is as you run these ads, like yeah. you'll run one ad, two ad, three ad, and then you'll go run ad, ad number four. And, and on each ad, you're, you're targeting that area or whatever your demographics may be. But what most fail to realize is the fact that every time you're running an ad, because a lot of people they'll think, okay, yeah, let's, let's try this new image or let's try this new video or let's try writing something different. And, 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 and what you're really doing is, yeah, you're, you're running multiple ads, which, which, which logically with you would think that is, that is actually a good thing. But if you're just running new ads, meaning you're just running new ads 
to a new audience, even though you're targeting the same demographics, you're targeting the same age, even though you're targeting the same everything, it's literally still a new ad because you're targeting an, and you're doing this on ad number one. And then you're doing it on an ad number two. And then you're doing it on ad number three. You're just, you're, even though you're targeting, like I could be targeting just one city of Toronto, mm -hmm. but if, but if I'm just simply going into ad number two and setting it up again, Toronto ages 25 to 55, and then ad number three, I do it next week, targeting Toronto ages 25 to 45 or whatever the hell it is. Mm -hmm. They're technically new ads. So that's what a lot of people do is they'll run a few ads and, 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 and because they're targeting the same location or the same demographics, they think that they're going to, they're going to get a different result when it's like, dude, all you're doing is you're restarting a new ad. You're restarting targeting a cold audience. If I ran four ads, one after another, every seven days. So I run one ad a week. Let's just say I run one ad a week. This is where I'm just giving you some game right here. Cause this is where yeah. everyone gets it wrong. Right. Let's say we run one ad a week, right? And 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 we're targeting Toronto and we're targeting 25 to 55, mm -hmm. all genders. And we run week number one. And then we do it again, week number two. Same targeting Toronto, 25 to 60 to 55, whatever. Week number three, set up again. Third ad, we're targeting the same location. It's like, dude, all you're doing is targeting a cold audience multiple times. Mm -hmm when what you need to be doing is creating custom audiences. Right. So, so week number one, if that was an image or an ad or a video ad, if it was a video ad, you better be creating an audience around those who watched it. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if, it's, if it's an ad and you're driving a conversion to your landing page, you better be creating a, a custom audience of everyone who lands on the landing page, but never opted in. And then as we go to ad number two, you better be, be retargeting those two audiences because by the time we get to ad number two, I already have the ability to retarget a warmer audience, two of them, those who watch the video, let's just say 25% of it. And those who landed on my landing page, but didn't opt in by the time I get to week number three, what am I doing now with week number three, week number three, I'm also retargeting everyone in week number one. And I'm also retargeting everyone in week number two. Right. By the time I get to week number four, it's like, dude, now I got these audiences that are building. We ran, and, and especially if you're running video ads, which you guys probably, I don't know if you are, but if, if but he, yes. he needs to be, like he needs to be. And so what you're doing is you're creating custom audiences of everyone who's watching the video. So by the time you get to week number four, it's like, dude, you're retargeting literally thousands of people who watched video number one, video number two, video number three. Mm -hmm. Also, you're retargeting those who landed on the web page, on the landing page for the first three weeks, for the first three ads. You're also retargeting those. Right. So, so it's in the retargeting of audiences, man, is where it's all at. It's not running a new ad, running a new ad, running a new ad. It's like, dude, you're going to run new ads every damn day and, and, and not, not see much, not get a, 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 a crazy result, even if you were spending a ton of money because because you're just you're just resetting a new a new ad every time to a new right. audience and that's when you have the highest cost per lead that's when you don't get as many leads because you're you're just simply running new ads to the same audience but you're not saving that audience and you're not creating any audiences of those who are engaging you know right yeah that could that completely makes sense to me and yeah that's that's really valuable information because yeah when i when i see a lot of videos on youtube um you know many times a lot of people say to come the complete opposite and what you're saying just makes complete sense uh you know it's just kind of like re-strategize go back to the drawing board so that's you know the mistake i was making i was you know just kind of re-strategizing the sense of just like do a new ad do you know do multiple ads different tests test uh, different ads with different strategies and uh yes and that could definitely even drain the budget really quickly yes. too you you want to have you want to have you want to have 20 percent of a budget allocated for testing for sure mm -hmm. but the other 80 percent should be spent retargeting those testings so as you're right. testing you're running and that's what that's what testing a new ad every week could be where as I'm trying to explain it, 
if you're just setting up a new ad every week, you're just setting up a new ad every week and you're targeting a cold audience of those who don't know your brand or know you because you're not you're not retargeting or targeting anyone who knows you. You're just targeting Toronto 25 to 55. Right. It's like, well, shit. Okay, well then, okay. So if I just target that and I do the same thing every single week, you would think that I would penetrate something, but I'm, but I'm actually not because it's a cold ad. Every week it's a cold ad. Right. So unless you're spending money retargeting the ones who actually engaged, Mm-hmm. then then you're not going to see the numbers you really want to see. It's all about retargeting your custom audiences. And 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 a perfect example is 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 put yourself in a in in the consumer's shoes. Like you're a consumer, I'm a consumer, mm-hmm. we buy shit all damn day. I buy shit all damn day. So I'm a consumer, <laughs> right? Yeah. When's the last time, bro, you were online and you just and we're not talking like crazy, holy shit, I've never seen that. I need to buy that now. That's right. like an off the wall type of offer. When you see things like that, you're like, that's like one in a lifetime type of marketing where someone has their shit down packed so hardcore where the moment you see it, you freaking click and buy. Right. But when does that ever happen, bro? Like when's the last time? I don't care if it's a nice pair of Jordans, a freaking nice hoodie, (laughs) a freaking dope ass hat. You very rarely see something for the very first time, click and buy. Correct. Yes. Like very rarely, bro. And we're yeah. consumers. I'm a freaking, I'm an impulse buyer. Like I'll, I'll buy shit just to buy shit sometimes. Right. But at the same time, very rarely online do I see something for the very first time and automatically want to buy it. Like especially, and especially if it's just some other marketer, especially if it's a coach like this or a consultant. Right. How many Gary V videos did we have to see to finally be like, okay, shit, this guy knows what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> I've seen 10 million freaking videos on the guy. That's what made me fall in love with him. Right. Right. So it's like the same for, for anything else. It's like, we have to see something multiple times to really build the value before I ever click and want to buy, or before I click and be like, okay, well shit, let me give this guy my name and email. I have to see that PDF at least three, four times before I say, okay, well shit, let me download it. Right. Yeah. Unless your offer is crazy, hardcore freaking and and was written by a professional copywriter. Right. Right where you're getting the attention of someone right then and there you're, because your marketing is so freaking on point. Mm-hmm. But very few of us are like that good. Like we're not all Russell Brunson's, you know what I mean? Like yeah. we're, we're just normal people trying to learn this shit. Yeah. So a lot of times it's testing. A lot of times it is that. So, so my point is, is the fact that you have to retarget, you show your ad, you run ad number one, and then, and then retarget those who engaged. And again, those who engaged are those who watched 25% of the video and those who clicked, went to the web page, the landing page, but didn't opt in. Right. right. Go to your events manager real quick. Go to your ads manager real quick and click on, um, click on, um, um, yeah, get out of this part. So that that's that's all, all good. So you're good here. So yeah, well, you can X out of this part and just, um, you can just you delete this ad. Yeah, go to, go to audiences, go to audiences. Uh, audiences right there. Yeah. Yeah. What you're saying makes total sense. It's really good. <laughs> really good information. Yeah. I mean, it's, just, and, and, and a lot of this is just common sense. Look, you have right. no, you have no custom audiences set up. Right. So, so this right here, bro, this right here is, 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 is your money. Like this is where the right. money is at for a client, for a business, for anybody right. running Facebook ads. It's all about, running the ad to capture the audience and then show that audience another ad. Right. That's it. So this is where everyone drops the ball. Everyone runs a new ad every week. That's what they do. If, if it's even weekly, most don't even run every week, but let's just say every month, most are running a new ad every month. We run a few ads this month. Each ad you set up went to a cold market they never engaged with you. They never watched a video. They never freaking went on your landing page, right? So, so and then and then and then we set up another ad next week. Same shit. Targeting Toronto, twenty five to fifty five. But we're not targeting anyone who has engaged before, right? Because we have no right. custom audiences to go off of. So this right here, man, is is what you have to be setting up. You have to be setting up custom audiences on on everything, and it's really a custom audience of those who land on the landing page a custom audience of those who land on your thank you page, 
-hmm. because that audience, you name it inside of Facebook, PDF download leads. So the same thing you named your custom conversion is the same thing I would name my custom audience. Those who landed on this thank you page are PDF download leads. Now, why is a custom audience of that audience so important? Because as I go run my next ad, my very next ad, as I go and set up my very next ad, that is an audience that I'll be excluding from seeing that ad. I see. Because they're already leads. They've already opted in. Like, why do they keep seeing your download video? <laughs> right? Right, right. So, 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 you'd, so you'd exclude them. And, uh, but also um, tell Facebook to um, run ads to this type of group. Is that what you're saying? When you, yes, yes. When you set up that custom audience, that audience is one audience the link of the thank you page. That's it. That's that audience. So anyone who lands on this link is in this custom audience. And we're we're calling that audience PDF download leads. Right. So when we go set up the next ad in the ad set level, the second step, the ad set level, the same level we set up our custom conversion in our pixel um, event, that second step, the ad set level, that's where you include, or that's that's, that's where you exclude this audience. Right. Now, the audience that you'll always want to include from ad number two and on every yeah. ad, every ad, the one audience that you'll always include to retarget and to target is your landing page visitors, landing page right. visitors only, because the way you set up the custom audience for the landing page is you tell Facebook, OK, anyone who lands on this link, the landing page link. But, but does not land on the thank you page link. Put these people in this custom audience. Very right. specific. That makes, that makes sense. They yeah. landed on the landing page link, but they did not land on the thank you page link. That is one audience. And that audience name is landing page visitors only. So now that audience becomes a warm audience. Let's say that audience is, well, shit, that audience will be created on every ad. So on, as you set up that one audience, you set it up one time, yeah. every ad from this point on, anyone that falls onto that, into that trap, they land on the web page, landing page, but they don't opt in. That audience will continue to grow. So the more you run ads, the more that audience will grow because not everyone's opting in, right? So, so that audience is going to continue to grow and that's a warm audience that's someone you'll always want to retarget mm-hmm. um, in, in future ads. You have to be retargeting people that have engaged in your previous shit. That's just the bottom line. Right. And, and that, that makes, that, that's how you create the omnipresence. So, so if, 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 if Mr. Fulfilled, if he wants to really be the high swing in, you know, what of his industry, he needs to create that omnipresence and the way mm-hmm. you psychologically indoctrinate people and get them feeling of feeling your omnipresence, meaning that every time they pull up their damn Facebook, you're in the damn newsfeed, right? Like that's that omnipresence. You're showing up everywhere all the time because all that is, is they're, you're retargeting previous engagers. That's all it is. So it's not like you're, you're spending a shitload of money advertising. All you're doing is retargeting people who engaged before. So if you right. saw my last video three weeks ago, guess what? You're going to see my video today. Right. And you're going to trip yeah. out and you're going to be like, holy shit, this guy keeps showing up. Right. right? Yes. Yeah, kind of like kind of like how when you're just, you know, scrolling on, you know, Instagram, I guess Facebook as well. But, you know, personally, I use I, I, I do, you know, use Instagram a lot yes. as well. And, and you just see, you know, a video and it's like, well, you know, that video was it was it was OK, but, you mm-hmm. know, it didn't really capture you. And then you see the same video. Mm-hmm. From the same, uh, sorry another video from the same people yes but it was hilarious yep. it was better and then you're like wow i need to follow these guys you know yes so, man so that- and, and 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 that does it doesn't take many many more ads after the first one to get you indoctrinated you know if, if i saw something cool and i watched it a little bit and then and then i came back on an ig a few hours later and then i saw something else on that same company that or that person or whatever they they they're running a different ad to me and i saw that and i'm like damn that's pretty cool it's like dude it's only until like it only takes maybe two three videos of retargeting me 
to get me to fall in love with you. Right. So we're not talking freaking long-term approach of marketing strategy here. I'm talking freaking a few videos. Like after a few videos, that person is going to know who the hell you are. Right. But what we, yeah. but, but the problem that we do is we set up a new ad every, every time and don't retarget anyone. So everyone that's seen every ad, even though you're targeting the same location, the same demographics, all that shit's the same. It's still going to a cold market of people who don't know you, you know, right. cause you're not, you're not retargeting anyone. Right. Yeah. That you makes, so, that makes, that makes perfect sense. The way you lay it out. Cause you, yeah, the way you laid it out is just perfect. It just makes complete sense. Just coming, you know, just really seeing the perspective from a, a consumer's yes, uh, man. point of view as well. Yeah, um, for sure, bro. So anything else on this? Any other questions on, on this part, man? Well, actually, I mean, I don't want to, I know our, our time is pretty much uh, finished here, but I, I didn't want to take up too much time. But I actually had a, one small question that yes. I seem to, get like a different answer on on every video that i watch on youtube <laughs> and mm -hmm. and that's uh for a smaller budget mm -hmm. running an ad using a smaller budget um what potential reach should you really gauge for I, and i see you know people are saying like well more is better do less do around here do do in between um like how much is too much and how how little is too little uh, for like a smaller budget? Um, yeah, really, really good question, man. It, it really, the way you, the way you look at the budget, because this is like the number one question that everyone has, like, what the hell do I spend? Right. What do I spend on the damn ad? You always have to look at your, 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 your either, either look at the net or the revenue. I kind of look at the net. Like I kind of tend to look at, well, shit, not net. Let's just look at the revenue look at the revenue, like whatever the hell you're selling, whatever the hell these guys are selling. Like I talk to real estate agents all damn day. Right. So it's like a real estate agent, they go and they go and sell a house and minimum, 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 let's just call the commission average. Let's just say minimum five grand. And it's like, okay, so you sell one, you make one, you close one deal, you make minimum five grand. But yet most of them bitch about spending 10 bucks on a Facebook ad. Right. It's like, dude, like most think that they're going to get leads off of spending 10 bucks a day on a Facebook ad, 300 a month. Okay, right. let me get this right. So how, so you make five grand per deal, but you're bitching about spending 300 a month <laughs> on marketing. Yeah. Yeah, so, so when you look at that, you're like, holy shit, like how do you, how do you, how does that even logically and mathematically even if, if we can just flip 300 bucks all damn day and make five grand, I'll go, I'll go be an agent right now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, dude, it doesn't work that way. Like you gotta, so I tell, so I tell agents now it's like, dude, 30%, like, cause I want everybody thinking bigger. Like you got to think bigger. Right. So right. I tell an agent 30%, I ask him, what's the minimum commission, your average commission, take 30% of that. That needs to be your monthly Facebook advertising. Right. And that's a, that's like a couple grand. And so it's like when when I when when a person even thinks about that or or even looks at that number like holy shit I can't be spending that. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. You make 5 grand for one deal. What do you mean we can't be spending that? We have to be spending that. Right? So it's like but again everyone's in a different financial boat and and I get it, but but at the end of the day we all need to make this work. And you have to pour you have to be willing to pour money into it, but not not bleed money. Mathematically look at what you pro your product or service that you offer what's the what's the revenue what comes in off of one deal and and we should be taking at least 30 percent of that and that should be your monthly budget right so you're saying you need to actually give face facebook enough fuel yes to man do what it do what it needs to do but you know let's just say between if you if you do have uh like you really you're out of position where you need to spend between five and fifteen dollars a day. Mm -hmm. um, like, what, what, how much people should you gauge for in in like the potential reach as to like one million, ten million? No, 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 not you don't got to be that high at all because again, everything is based on your budget. So, to tell you the truth, you're asking a question that that really, really, it's not that it can't be answered, but here's how here's how you mm -hmm. have to look at it. If we only have ten bucks a day to spend. 
then the potential reach, it is what it is. Right. So even if I gave you the answer of you have to be shooting for 500,000 potential reach, you're going to be like, David, the potential reach is based off my budget. And all I, all I have is 10 bucks a day. Right. Right. So, so it's not, it's not on the potential reach because That's it's not on the potential reach. Don't even look at that. Don't even look at the poten- potential reach. Look at your budget. Look at your right. budget. It's all about the budget because whatever budget you put in there determines the potential reach. I see what you're saying. You know? And, and, and what would, what budget would you recommend for it to just, do you recommend to start off? Again, based on what that guy, like what's his, what's his service? You see you as the marketer, you have to know this. You have to know what he, what, what he sells exactly and what he right. makes. Right. Like, and, and you have to ask the client that you have to ask that to him as well. You have to be like, Hey man, I'm excited to be working with you. What, what exactly is your service, your coaching program? And, and what exactly, how much revenue comes in per client? Like what's your average, what's your, what's your lifetime value of the client? And what's your, what's the value of a client? What is a client worth to you? What is your, what, what is your, what, is, because whatever a client, especially people that know what the hell they're doing, when they make money off of a client, they also understand the cost per acquisition of the client. So that's, again, the, ba- the daily, that goes down to, to a daily budget, for example, or any budget in marketing, there's a cost of acquisition. So how much did it cost me to get that client? How much did it cost me to get a lead? How much, how much does it cost me? Right. These numbers are, are, are numbers that, that everyone needs to know, obviously, right? But, but again, to answer your question, like you need to know what, what, he, what he makes. What, what is one client worth to him? Right. And so you're going to just reverse engineer it, just reverse engineer it. That's what's the client, what's one client worth to him? And then what is 30% of that? Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's, 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 that would really, answer your question. Yeah. That's, that's really actually really valuable information to, the way so, that. Yeah. So do the, do the math real quick. Right like look, what, what is this guy? Like this guy right here specifically is what a coach you said? Yes. A life coach. Okay. So he's a life coach. So I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, cause I know the co- coaching and training side of, of, of digital marketing of the yeah. business side of it. Let's say for example, yeah. and, and just ba- based on looking at him, does he look like he does? Okay. Does he look successful? Does he look like he's knowledgeable? Do you, do you have his content? Do you follow his content? Would you uh, say he's doing okay? So yes, he has, okay. he has a budget to spend. He's just okay. starting off with the life coaching stuff, which is like, uh, you know, he's just basically doing this, but in terms of, you know, um, a budget that he could spend. Yes. He has, okay. he has a budget. So, so, so it's very, budget. very simple. Let's say for example, and, and, and I'm assuming here I'm guesstimating, but again, I, I kind of know that side of the business and I'll just say, I'll just say, minimum minimum as he brings in a client i'll say if he's on the lower end if he's on the lower end he's probably charging a thousand dollars to bring that that coat that that coaching client on if he's on the higher end he could be charging anywhere from he could be charging anywhere from 10 15 even 20 grand to to bring on that one client so as you're over here running facebook ads and to bring him one freaking client he makes 10 grand Yes. I okay. Believe it's about three thousand dollars. Okay. Twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars. I think it's to bring. Okay. So twenty five hundred times thirty percent is seven fifty. So seven fifty, seven fifty, seven fifty divided by thirty. You need to be spending at least twenty five bucks a day. Hmm. But again, everyone's trying to tippy toe it five bucks a day, right. ten bucks a day. It's like, right. wait a minute, do we make twenty five hundred per deal? How the hell are we not spending at least thirty? See, me personally, right. I'd be spending all the twenty five hundred, because the way I look at it, if I'm making twenty five hundred per client, and I spend twenty five hundred bucks a month on Facebook advertising, if I got one freaking client, I break even. What if I got two? See, right. so someone like me, a marketer and an entrepreneur and a businessman, all at one, all in one, I look at it where it's like, dude, we have to throw this money out there. Marketing right. is everything. Yeah. So, so I'm not even looking at 30%. I'm saying, take the whole 100, take, take everything we make a real estate agent. You're making five grand per deal. Spend the whole five grand a month on Facebook ads and see what happens. Right. You get yeah. one freaking deal. You break even. So it's not, right. but imagine how many leads came out of it. How many leads would you have got? You would have got one deal. You would have broke even spending five grand a month, but hell no, no one, no one's even thinking that large, but again, it's basic math. 
It's like, do you understand how many leads would have came in? Right. Spending yeah. that much money. You only closed one deal, but shit, you got 300 leads. Right. Yeah. So I it's hear, like, I damn, hear. dude, like, but again, not everyone's there just yet, man. You know, mentally, I think it's mental. It's mental money too. Money, obviously. Yeah. You got to go close some deals first, but you know, start small, but someone like him, man, if, if again, if 2,500 is the, is the price point, 750 a month, just on Facebook ads is what he should be spending. Not right. mentioning what he should be spending for you. What he, what, what, you know, what you should be charging him. Right. Yeah. That, that makes, that makes perfect sense to me. And, and yeah, I'm really appreciative that you're just laying it out just so bluntly, just like that, because yeah, I don't, I haven't heard anyone lay it out in that way before. So that's really, yeah, I appreciate really it. Thank man. you. Thank and you. I have a full blown like Facebook coaching program, man, where it's just like, it's not a lot of money at all. A few hundred bucks where I literally take you from A to Z, you know, a lot of this stuff, but then there's a lot that's missing. There's a lot that's missing. Yeah, so I would love to take it, man. Let, let me know, you know, we'll set up, we'll set up another call, I'll send you a link, you know, I'll send you a link of everything that I cover. And, and if you, you know, decide to check out with it, check out and then just schedule a handful of coaching calls, but learning, learning this stuff from the beginning is super, super important, man, especially if you're going to be taken on, on, on clients, because I can really coach you and teach you how to really crush this for other clients, you know? So right. yeah, I'll send you a link, man. Do yeah, you have a budget for coaching? That. Uh, uh, to uh for for the course yeah like uh, do you have like a budget to just you know put into learning this stuff or where are you at as far as you know budget well i think i could budget probably um right now 500 probably yeah i mean that's that's that thousand dollars in i say i honestly i need to you're really knowledgeable i'd say a thousand dollars because i need to really learn this stuff mastering the so. facebook ad platform that's why i tell my clients all the time i have one of my friends Dorica, on the line with us she's a real estate agent absolutely crushes it in oklahoma city been in the industry forever but it's like i i tell my clients all the time it's like not only am i am i showing you how to do this stuff but this just this alone this facebook ad skill alone yeah can feed your family no matter what like, like I, I was speaking to a client yesterday. And he, 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 he's a real estate agent and he's running a, like a vacation rental type of business. And, right. and, and, and he, he hopped on a line with me, a call, just like you for the very first time, found me from YouTube. And he's like, David, I love this. I love this shit that you be given. Like you, you, you're keeping it real. You're knowledgeable yeah. on this Facebook ad stuff. You know, I, I need, I need, I need to run Facebook ads for my businesses. And I said, bro, here's what I got. Like I, I have this basic coaching program where I just take you through from A to Z, how to learn all this shit yourself. So, so, right. so you can go run these ads yourself and not have to hire anybody. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, just, let's just keep it real. Let's say real estate doesn't work out for you. Let's say the dream vacation, the vacation rental business doesn't work out for you. The, the knowledge that you will have once I'm done with you, you can apply to any business or you can go run for other businesses just like you. But, but someone like you that's already somewhat running them for other businesses, you have to get really good at this. Right. So yeah. I invested, I started this in 2016. I invested thousands of dollars into different coaches and that's how I have the knowledge today. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I didn't, I couldn't learn this shit myself. Like I had to, to get help. That's what we do. We, we, we hire coaches and trainers to, to, to shortcut our learning curve. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm absolutely, uh, yeah, I hear you. And then honestly, it's, it's just, just within this short matter of time I've, I've learned so much. So yeah, I'm man, there's, there's a whole ready to spend what it, what it takes to actually learn from you. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'll send you a link and I'll send you a coupon code. So make sure you, you put in the coupon code. And if it, if, if, if the layout of it is something you want to jump onto, man, let me, let me just coach you from the beginning and just teach you these basic fundamentals that, you know, will last you a lifetime. I would love that, man. Cool. I would, I would Sounds good, Jake. I'll, I'll email you here shortly the link, man. And then once you check out, mm -hmm you'll see my calendar on the next, on the next page and just schedule, schedule a handful of coaching calls, man. Let's get this knowledge to you like sooner than later. Sure, man. That sounds good to me. Uh, sounds looking good, forward bro. to uh, looking forward to the course. Yeah, yes, sir, man. Super helpful. I appreciate your time, Jay. I'll email you shortly. Okay. Thank Thanks, you again, man. David. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.